What's up everybody? It's your boy Jay here with a tutorial on how to achieve the parallax scrolling effect in Live Canvas. Now Live Canvas is primarily suited for developers who know HTML and CSS. If you are a beginner, you'll be able to kind of make your way around. If you have no clue of what HTML or CSS is, you'll be able to kind of get around, but you'll need it for simple things. Live Canvas is not for everyone, but it is a bloat free page builder for WordPress. And you can also download each page as HTML. So we're going to achieve this scrolling effect in Live Canvas, and I'll show you how. So once you've created your page in WordPress, this one is called home. You'll want to make sure that you've enabled the Live Canvas and set that to yes. You'll also want to make sure that your page attribute is set is set to the template empty page template once you've done that you can simply go ahead and click on live edit with live canvas once this finishes loading up you'll be able to come to the page that you want so as you see as i scroll i'm not i don't have that parallax effect here but i'm going to show you what you'll need so i'm going to provide the link in the description so you can go and grab this code snippet for yourself so what you're going to need is simply what i have highlighted here so i'm going to go ahead and hit copy OK, and then I am going to go back to the editor here and I'm going to click here, as you can see, this this arrow and it's going to allow me to work on this image. So I know that I have the image here. Now, if you need your own image, you'll have to go here and hit upload local. And then you'll be able to go in and click any image here. I've already got one set once you load there. Um, in fact, let's just upload one because you're going to see some things there. Um, that you'll need to uh, click on and I want to be able to make sure that I show you that so let's use this image right here and I'm going to use this one and so as you see it didn't change so I'm going to do full and if you do large medium thumbnail you see that the images become distorted so I normally do full large you might be able to get away with large as well but I typically stay with full so with this image what I'm going to do is simply go here and type in parallax and I'm going to save this just to show you that simply just putting that in doesn't do anything okay so the code snippet I got from W3 schools you're going to simply paste that in and let's just click up here. So now you have your parallax effect. Insert your ID, insert your code snippet from um, W3 schools here. You can click anywhere on here before you save just to make sure that you know it's there. And then I'm going to hit save there. I'm going to also go back and just refresh this. And there we go. We can do this for any image that we have. So I'm going to go back and select the image that I had on there initially. I kind of like my black and white one here. We're going to go here, choose image, make that full. Uh, we'll hit save because we already have it, the code in there. Refresh. And there you go. That's how you get the parallax scrolling for any background image. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe. And if you would like to see more tutorials on Live Canvas, let me know in the comment section. Thank you.